Hello everyone, this is Trafalgar Valentine. Today I'll be doing a 1988 Ford Mustang. So, to start off with, I've just got a HB pencil, so I'm just sketching in some light shapes for the wheels, and then for the body to come across. Do, 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 do. I'm used to seeing like 66 Mustangs, the old like famous Ford ones and stuff like that, but this one's pretty interesting from the 80s. So I'm just lightly. Excuse me, my throat's a little sore. I'm slightly sketching in the shapes. Hope that's clear enough. Then for the lights, which will come around here. This square shape. There's a grill that comes out of the bottom of the fog lights. Okay, eh, that's all done for now. That's enough sketching in. Let's get some ink done. Right, where should we start? Let's do the front bit first where I've done these lights. So these are sort of like square shape. Slightly curved on the ends, so it's not a complete cube. This one's right to the edge. Then, make sure we just line up right. Next one. Draw this one in. This one slightly curves around, it's got a small indicator one on the side. Then, this one's separated by a little bit of a triangle piece on the insides. We'll do a bit of detail. Just with a few lines, like so. Then there's a line joining them for where the hood or the bonnet will lift up. And there's a main bumper that comes from the side archway right across and you have to excuse me if I just pause for a second because I'm using this from a photo reference so I've just got a glance look at my drawing glance like so I never practice drawing these cars more than what you actually see me draw them I'm going to draw a car for the first time might as well talk to myself while doing it and then record it Okay, so there's the bumper. Then for the rear bottom section of the bumper, sorry, comes down just a little bit there. And we can bring this across. It's got these circular headlights. One there, to the end there. Then for the grill on the inside quite a thin paper I'm using I have got um, an old bit of paper underneath just so it doesn't go into because I'm using a sketchbook that I have so just so if there is like lines showing up it's just from the page underneath that's what I'm trying to get to do 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 join this up just on this edge there's a little thin bit Fill this round. And get a line in for the rear archway. What these uh, cheap fine liners? I think it's Stabo or something, but they usually were very cheap. I think it was a pound for a pack of ten, so it's like ten pence for one. And uh, they're doing pretty well for the price that got them. I mean, the only problem with these kind of pens I'm using, because normally I use like uh, graphics pens that I have, these ones are a bit more higher quality. But this one's just a cheap one, which won't save money and stuff like that. The only problem is the tend to, the nib seems to split a bit, so you might get these double lines, but uh, never mind, never mind. Okay, so you can see I've just done a little bit of a line across there just to, for the depth of the archways and this pattern for the bumper runs right across the length of the car do another line there 
and one coming up there, just raise it up a little bit in the center. I'm not actually sure if these lines have any particular need for the car, if they're not just actually drawn there for decoration, but hey, I didn't design it, that's what they will chose to do. Do, 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 do. It's a car from 1988 after all. Quite away from when I was born. Okay. And for the side mirrors. There. And we can do the windscreen of going across. Just like so. And the other one. Now the front end of the car is curved, it's not completely straight up like a wedge, it's actually curved a little bit. It's curved in that. And it is a little bit indentation on the inside. Just a few lines indicate there. Okay. Now for the side window, one going across here, you might notice I am actually using a pencil for a rule here, but you can use a proper rule if you want to see, I'm just using it for the time being. Like so. Waiting for the door, comes over all these sections that I've done and comes right up. There is a line that comes across like so. Do the door handle in next. This one does have a spoiler as well. So we can draw that going across and keep the same line for the rear of the car. Okay, it's starting to look into shape now. Like so. Do, 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 do. It's a little boxy. Maybe I can smooth it out. A few of these edges. It looks pretty cool. Okay, let's do the wheels. You can use a French curve for this, or a template, or a circle thing. Well, I'm just freeballing it, so it's. Could use templates and shapes, but I'll go on me at the moment. Okay, this one's slightly turned a bit. It's a bit thicker than usual, but yeah, it's, it's okay. It's cool, so it's the same level here. Okay, now for the inner rim. Just like so. It's almost like a floral pattern. There we are. I might do a bit of tread. Here. Just a few shapes going down. Okay, so that's the basic outline of the shape in less than 10 minutes. It's pretty good, pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to go into shading. So I'm going to Shade all these different lines and stuff and just do my usual block shading effect. So we use a fine liner for the thin shapes and a thick black marker for the other ones. I'll move it to time lapse because it's pretty straightforward how it's done. It's going to be dark on the bottom, light on the top, a horizon reflection, you know.
Okay, so I'm just finishing off with a few final touches here and there, but you can get the gist of what I've just been doing. I had the orange highlight around the edges, I had a thick black marker just for more shadows and things, especially on the inside and all the lower portions of the vehicle. Now I'm just touching up a few of those lines. A little black marker is good for filling up shading and stuff like that, it's not very fine. So you leave a thick black mark and you can just smooth out them all out with this thin line. Like here, for example, just smooth this all out. Just like so. So yeah, this has been my 1988 Mustang. You can try it if you want, with any materials if you want. But uh, yeah, you can just do it with a biro if you want, for a bit of car practice, but yeah, thanks very much for watching guys, and I'll probably be back with another video quite soon. We'll see how I do for time. Okay, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.